Here we go, steering kit on an old Murray riding mower. I think it was 12.5 uh, horsepower. IC, industrial commercial. Would you believe this engine still doesn't use any oil? Makes me wonder if they, somebody didn't replace it. But anyway, this um, steering kit, it, it all comes as one thing. They used to sell the separate pinion gear. You can see it's all chewed up in there separately. I don't know what went wrong with this one, but it just probably just old metal and fatigue. But um, I guess the point I'm trying to make here is it comes as a kit when you get the new one, and it's partially installed. It's just sitting in there. I'm getting ready to bolt the bolts. There's a bolt uh, here, one, two, and then there's two in the back. Now this rod here that's what I want to talk about this is this is the steering let's talk about this first this is the steering wheel connection there's a bolt that goes through here and has a nut I think and when you undo that the steering wheel just pulls straight up out of the mower so you can just take it completely out and get it out of the way this is the actual pow power uh, to the blades lever and you can see there's a switch back here you have to take once you get this whole thing out like over here on this one you can see that's where the switch mounted and there's your one two mount holes this is another bolt you really don't have to take out I didn't know that but I took it out anyway these are half inch I believe that one's uh, 7 sixteenths or something. The point of the matter is this is hard to get out unless you take the gas tank off and a whole bunch of other junk. But you can get it out easily by taking these bolts out here and that bolt right there out of the power steering thing and then this whole shaft should come out. I don't think it's movable because I think it's rusted in place. Yeah, it is. It's tight. You could probably hammer it out of there, but that's hard to do when it's in the mower. So if you can get that out, do so. If you can't, take unplug the switch. It has a little plug. And try to, in, inside the mower, turn it over and get it out this way and out to the side. You'll have to take that whole front end off. You see where it connects right there? This whole front end, you know? So there it is. So anyway, um, the new ones come and you undo that bolt and the shaft slides right out. You can put it underneath here between the belt basically and the foot pad and feed it up in there Make sure you remember which way the washers were on it when you got it. There is a little spacer in there, you can see it. And reconnect your switch. You'll have to remount the, the old switch on the new one. And they, it force threads itself. It's a self-threading, a uh, couple screws. I think they're 5 sixteenths. So uh, basically when you get it that far, you, you're just down to doing the four main mount bolts. One two over there and then there's two identical ones in the back that I just showed you here on this on this old one okay so it's one two three and then four right in there but to get to that you're gonna have to see this you have to turn the power steering or the power to the blades because this this le this this uh, lever is in the way, so when you turn that out of the way, then you can get to that fourth bolt. You're gonna have a hard time. You have to probably use a ratchet. You might get away with a subcompact impact wrench on the other ones, but that last one, you're probably gonna have to get a ratchet and get it. This the steering bar. Um, that bolt, that nut right there was extremely hard to get off for some reason. 
So, you can imagine I chewed it up so bad I've decided to throw it away. But they give you a new one in the kit, which is nice. It's perfect. So it's not a bad deal to get that kit. And it was like 50 bucks at Walmart.com. Amazon had it for like 70 bucks, I don't know. But, uh, anyway, this is a little bit easier going back in than I thought it was going to be. Getting it out was a chore. And then you can see where that spring goes. It goes down in that hole there. And then in, in the frame. And then it attaches to the um, bracket that shuts off the um, control switch. You can see in the back there. See the plunger? See the plunger there? Yeah. Okay, so anyway, just putting it all back together. Thought you'd like to know. Short but sweet. Sorry about the quality. Good day to turn your lives over to working for peace instead of war. Invent peace, not war.